Well, life is changing as we learn how to teach our kids at home, live at more than an arm's length apart, and deal with constant anxiety over loved ones who are sick or who may become sick. Katie Moore is working from home this week, so if one person doesn't feel well here, we all don't get quarantined. So here's her look at life on day six of all this. As time lapses and we navigate this crisis divided by distance, united by an invisible enemy, it seems things are changing daily in Jefferson Parish and beyond. Toward the end of the lunch hour, restaurants that are normally packed are nearly empty. Playgrounds are nearly empty too, as they should be to try and stop the virus. But it can be an eerie sight when you think about how they would normally be overflowing with kids, climbing, playing. A positive in all this, people playing outdoors more, doing lots of activities outdoors more. Moms are riding bikes with their kids, me included. Kids are climbing the rocks with their parents, playing with balls and frisbees to pass the time, and they're getting some exercise. And while all of these things are metaphorical signs of the changing times, we can't forget about the actual ones. Bank lobbies are closed, carry out only at coffee shops and restaurants, Facebook workouts for gyms locked down, and mentions of the virus ever present. But check out this parking lot. It's jammed and it's so jammed that people are parking on the side streets in order to go in and get their groceries. Everybody wants to be stocked up. There's this definite feeling pretty much anywhere you go right now that people want to be prepared in case everything gets shut down. The store shelves are still empty of toilet paper and now Tylenol. And as I work from home, my kids are getting used to me as their teacher. Winston, what do you think of your desk? It's beautiful. Yeah, what is it normally? What did it used to be? It used to be, wait, wait, Mama, do you mean that's a school? It's not always smooth sailing and not as anything these days, really. I'm constantly cognizant of the fact that I am getting to spend more time with them. Life is slowing down. And while we are still healthy, our hearts and our minds are always with those who are not. That was beautiful from Katie, and also we love that her daughter Campbell helped her shoot that report, and <laughs> Winston, you are the greatest, so that was a terrific report. Sharice Gibson is also practicing social distancing, and here she is checking in from her home. Hey guys, Sharice Gibson here, um, reporting to you uh, from my back porch. Um, it was a wonderful night. I wanted to sit outside and work, but not only that, um, we're practicing social distancing at the station. So obviously we want to make sure that our crew is protected as we continue to give you the very latest on Eyewitness News. We are following along still from home with the COVID-19 response. And of course, we're keeping you updated with the latest numbers and not just the latest numbers when it comes to what is negative, the deaths, unfortunately, that we've seen but the numbers of the people that have been recovering, we have seen a lot of positive stories coming from this. So as I am working from home uh, for the next couple of days, we'll continue to rotate in and out. For the meantime, uh, this is my uh, co-worker, uh, little Joey. He will be uh, working along with me, along with Isabella as well. So we'll be staying in touch with you guys. Follow me along on Twitter at OKSharice. OK and you can always follow me on Sharice Gibson TV on Facebook. Again, any questions you might have, make sure you text the word virus to 504-529-4444. We want to make sure that we keep you informed and most importantly, keep you safe.